pepper stuffer. We are making some air fryer chicken breast. What I'm gonna do first is cut my chicken into two pieces, butterfly it. I have two large chicken breasts that I'm gonna do this to. So you just get it started and then you can cut it down the center like that. Now I'm gonna lay it out. And I'm gonna put a piece of saran wrap over it. Give it a nice little tap, put some saran wrap. Now I'm gonna get my mallet. All right, I have my mallet and I'm going to tenderize my meat. About the same size. So when you cook it up, it'll be nice. Tenderizes it and makes it all even. Take this off. Now I'm going to make my seasoning to put on it. In a bowl, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese, some breadcrumbs. These are, I think, Italian seasoning to hype. Some garlic and some paprika. Whisk here. Now you could do an egg wash with flour and um, egg and then this. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna, just gonna go straight in with our chicken and do it like this. Now some of it will come off, but not all of it. it just gives it a nice crust. And then I'm just gonna repeat until I get all of my chicken coated. All right, I have all my chicken coated with a little seasoning that I just threw together on my own. I was kind of, that's the season we're going with tonight. That's what we had. Now I'm gonna throw it into the air fryer. I have the Ninja Dual Fryer here. So we're gonna turn it on and I am going to air fry on, we're gonna do it on, we'll do it on 360 and we're gonna do it for 15 minutes. Now I'm just gonna hit this match cook and it's gonna do both drawers when I hit the start button. I'm gonna take this out because I'm going to put my chicken directly down onto my into my little uh, cooker thing here. We're gonna do two on one, two in one, and then two in the other. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna put that in, pull the other one out. Just like that. All right, and then all of this close it up. And we go in and hit the start button. And it starts cooking both sides. So after 15 minutes, we're gonna flip them and let them cook for maybe about, mm, we'll say probably five or six more minutes and then they should be tender ready. All right, here is what the chicken is looking like. It's looking all nice and golden after 15 minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip the chicken over, and I'm probably gonna do, um, I'm gonna start with five minutes. See, because it looks like the chicken is almost done, and I don't wanna do it too tough. So I'm gonna do a five minute cook and check it. The chicken is finished, it's got this little cool down, um, at the end after it stops. So that chicken is looking pretty perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I have my meat thermometer here. I'm gonna stick it in there and see what we're working with here. Yeah, it's at 187 and chicken is supposed to be 165. So that chicken, did I see that juice come out when I poked that hole? That chicken, whoops, I went to the other side. 
Got scared there for a minute. Thought it was 165, but I went through the other side. All right, our chicken is completely done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it on a fresh plate and I have some rice cooking and some green beans that's gonna go on the side. So what I'm gonna do now is look how beautiful that chicken is. I'm gonna let it rest. Gorgeous crust on it. Now I'm gonna let it rest for like five to 10 minutes, probably about five minutes. Let all those juices soak back up into the chicken and then we're going to cut it up. I'm gonna serve it with some green beans and some rice and that is air fryer chicken. Just plate it up and ready to dig in.